Napoleon from GMT Games, a game designed by Ted Racer, who is of Paths of Glory fame, amongst uh, many other things. Uh, and so we're going to dive right into this campaign game. If you're looking for a sense of uh, how to play I, Napoleon, um, I'll leave a link either in the description or in the top of the video to uh, uh, the how to play videos that I made for I, Napoleon. But the goal here is to actually play through a game so you can actually see it in action and get a decent sense of how it all works uh, when put together. So we're playing the campaign game, which um, starts in 1793. And let's just talk a little bit about the situation that we're facing right in the beginning. I mean, essentially, we are a commander. That's all we are. We're just a lowly commander. So one of our first goals is to meet the requirements on this card, the back of this card, um, to turn it face up at the end of any campaign or expedition if you have five or more glory. Um, if we do that, um, this card has an income effect of 1A per year when it's on this side, but if we flip it over and become General Bonaparte, um, we'll get two admin per year, and that, and that can make a, a good, good difference. There's a one other face down card at, at uh, the start of the game. That's this strategy and tactics card. And so we're looking for uh, the topographical bureau card. And if that comes up, we'll flip this face up. So we skip a uh, year. There's nothing to do in year setup phase here on turn one. And then the card deck phase, the only thing we need to do is shuffle. So we're basically going straight into the card action phase and drawing our first card of the game. And it is a campaign, Infantry Vendée. It's not a very good campaign because it's going to cost us glory whether we win it or lose it. There's a few of these campaigns in, in the CMD era which are kind of like non-winnable you know, non for Napoleon. They don't really help him at all. And that's one of them. So we uh, advance the card draw tracks and we draw another card. So we've got a commander. Uh, now, oh, sorry, I should mention, this was clearly, this was obviously a, uh, a mandatory card. It says must place. Um, this, by contrast, is a an optional card, um, but, or, but there's really never any reason not to place commanders over here in the uh, commander box. So we'll do that and advance the card draw marker. Now we've got escape. I may place an I Napoleon and I can remove it from play to ignore under arrest. So again there's not really a good reason not to play it so we're just going to follow the when revealed instructions to place an eye napoleon and then if we draw under arrest uh then we uh we could use the triggered effect on this card it basically allows us to we escape rather than being arrested so we move the card draw marker and draw another card and we get another commander mira so we're going to place him over here so we're Getting a decent number of those building up now. We advance the card draw marker. And we get Napoleon the Spy. If Robespierre's fall has been played, minus 1p. Otherwise, plus 1p. So we'll start with that. We gain plus 1p. We'll go up here. And we're going to get, get plus 1p. Now we roll a die. Uh, so let's see what happens. Basically, on a one, there's a bit of it seems like there's a bit of a bad effect, but on anything else, okay, there's a five. So on a five, there is no effect, and then we remove the card from play. On a one, we would have been captured in the game ends, probably would have spent Napoleon's luck at that point. So we'll put this up here, and that'll become our remove pile. Now, the space that the card draw marker is about to move into has a DR my, a DR1 on it. So now we roll, and on a 1, the, the this year ends. But we rolled a 7, so the year continues. We advance that to that space. Draw a card. Advisor to the Turks. Now I can place this in I, Napoleon, to immediately gain 5 glory and 1 P, and then I discard all campaign and campaign modifier cards. So this is actually, it has some other effects. But this is actually kind of interesting because it's it would prevent me from having to actually fight this infantry vendee uh, campaign. Um, but I don't think I want to do it. The main reason is I would have to spend my only admin next turn um, to come back. And, you know, my guess is I'll fight this campaign. I won't have any glory when I fight this campaign. So victory or defeat hardly matters. So... We'd be moving into this space, so we're going to roll, 
and on a one or a two, the turn ends, and on a two, 1793 ends. So, campaign resolution phase. So, we go to campaign resolution. Now, just quickly, we start the game with three admin. So, now let's start walking through um, campaign resolution. First thing is to assign commanders. So, I've got Murat but he costs 2A to, 2G to use, 2 glory to use, because um, he's not king of Naples yet. And I don't have 2 glory, so we aren't going to assign him. The other commander I've got is uh, Lons, and he costs 1A to use, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, and use him. So we will spend that 1A to use him. Now we've also got this strategy and tactics card to be aware of. Okay, so we've assigned commanders. We've assigned Lons to the to the campaign. He's the only person uh, we're going to be able to use in this campaign. Uh, so now we are going to go on and we're going to resolve this. So we have got plus one for Lons. I'm only going to use his plus one DRM in any one combat round because I don't want to remove him from play. And then I am going to use Bonaparte leads to gain plus three. Uh, and I'm going to hope that it doesn't end up with me dead. So we are going to be rolling. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to move Lons over to the Use Commanders box, flip him face down. Uh, I tend to use the campaign battle map, battle map really just for the commanders because it helps me keep track of who I haven't assigned. Um, for, current, for, the, for the rest of it, I don't really use it that much. Um, okay, so I've got a plus four to this roll, which is the maximum I can have. And I've rolled... A Three, so that's a seven result. So that's a bloody victory. Um, so I'm just going to accept that. I could use Napoleon's luck to re-roll that, but there isn't really a point because uh, as your bloody result would cause me to put one of these um, over here, which would be a modifier in the domestic politics phase, but there is no domestic politics phase when I'm in CMD, so it doesn't really matter. So I get a victory, and for my campaign result, victory is minus 3G and plus 2P. So I can't minus, uh, I can't apply the minus three glory because that would, uh, I don't have any glory to, to lose. So I just gain uh, two political points. That's it. And then um, I will now do a commander casualties. So let's see if my commander is wounded. Uh, Lons is not wounded. So that's good. Um, there's no other campaign events or, or, or stuff to resolve. So I just clean up. So Lons goes back to the commander's box. Okay, so I've resolved that campaign. So now I actually need to roll for this. I use this card, so I need to roll for this. So let's not put it on the snap. So I rolled a 10, uh, which is no effect. So there was absolutely no effect from Bonaparte leads this turn. Uh, infantry Vendée is removed when played. You can see that symbol in the bottom right. So because we resolved it, it is removed. So we move it up there. So we skip diplomatic phase and domestic politics phase in CMD and go straight to the cleanup phase. So um, here we haven't got a lot to do. We're going to basically reset admin to zero. Uh, we would also reset diplomacy, but we don't have any. Politics and glory don't reset. So we are essentially uh, done with all of that. So now we go to back to the top to the year setup phase. So first thing we do is we advance the marker. We're now in 1794. So that's the first thing that we do. And now we're doing resource income. We only have one source of income right now, and that's 1A uh, from our uh, Napoleon over there. So we move the A marker to 1. And that is, a, oh, uh, sorry. And also we reset the card draw marker to one. So the year moves, the card draw markers, and we've got one admin. So now we go to the card deck phase. So no cards come into play in 1794. And you can see on the uh, turn track, it's marked for when cards uh, enter play. So, um, so during the card deck phase, the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna basically return everything in the discard pile and shuffle so everything is all now shuffled up and we go back to the card action phase all right so let's see what happens to napoleon in 1794. so the first thing is we get desai desai i think that's how that's pronounced so may placing commanders again 
almost never a reason not to do that. We advance the card draw marker. Robes Pierre's Fall. Okay. This, I mentioned this in the How to Play video. This is a bit of a special card. So you remove Augustine Robes Pierre, which is card 20. So I'm going to search through this deck and find card 20, which is Augustine Robes Pierre. So he's right there. So I remove that card from play. And I can go through that deck because I'm going to end up reshuffling here. Um, so I'm just going to move him up here. Then I add cards 59 to 63 to the deck and shuffle in all the current campaign modifiers. Uh, the current uh, the campaign card and the discard part, I'll not shuffle it. So, uh, and then I remove this card from play. So just following along there. So I don't have any campaign modifiers, so I don't need to change those. And this is this deck right here. Uh, this is comes into play with card 29 or FCD. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, hit this, and that's going to actually add all the cards uh, to the deck, and it does reshuffle it uh, for me, um, but you can also just keep reshuffling. So the discards do not go into the play, into, uh, into the deck, and this card is removed from play. So we're going to move from play. And I will note, I talked about this in the How to Play video, card 29 is like the one uh, exception where you actually stop what you're doing and add all the cards in at that exact moment and then continue on. So we are continuing on with advancing the card draw marker. Next, we get the Supper at Beaucaire. I must place in politics. So this has a uh, triggered effect. Um... When under arrest is revealed, plus two DRM if Robespierre's fall has not been played, or minus one if it has been played. So unfortunately, it has been played. But at any rate, for now, all I do is I place it in politics. And I advance the card draw marker. Okay, and we draw an expedition. Now, if you recall, expeditions, you just resolve them immediately. So this one, immediately resolve an expedition with no supporting commanders. I roll the die. So I got a six. So on a six, I am successful in this Piedmont expedition and I get three glory. So there we go. We're starting to build a little base of glory for ourselves. We advance the card draw marker and we get Tsar Paul, must place in Russia. So uh, this only matter, the ongoing effect only matters during FCD, um, but for now we simply place Tsar Paul in Russia. Now, again, we've got a DR, so we got to roll to see if the turn continues. Whew. It threatened to not continue, but it does continue. I kind of love to see a campaign come up here so that I could maybe get what I need. There we go. That's what I wanted. Must place in campaign if empty, otherwise discard this card. So it's not empty. So we are going to be, our campaign for the year is going to be Artillery Toulon. And you can see, if I win, I have the opportunity to get five glory, which is going to allow me to flip that card. So now what I'd really love is for the turn to end. I roll. But on a nine, it's not going to end. So I keep drawing. What I'm dreading now is some campaign, modi modi uh, campaign modifier cards. Okay, another expedition. Must immediately resolve an expedition with no supporting commander. So this is the same as before. I'm just rolling a die. And, oh, I got a five. So this is an interesting moment here. Because uh, I could use Napoleon's luck to re-roll this. Um, and hope I roll a, you know, I've got a 50-50 chance to roll a six through a ten. And if I succeed here, then I could flip Napoleon right now. Uh, and so I think I'm gonna, uh, but if I don't, you, if I use it, then I won't have it available for artillery too long, but the effect of the impact of defeat is nothing over there. So I'm going to actually flip Napoleon's luck and I'm going to reroll this. And it comes out in my favor. I get a seven. That is, a, is a success. Um, I removed this. Oh, I forgot. I should have removed Piedmont from play. Also, both of these expeditions are removed from play. So I get plus 5G. So that gives me 8 glory. 
going to remove both of these cards from play. Sorry for forgetting to do that with Piedmont. Got to be more careful about that. But now I have satisfied this condition. And I can turn up at the end of any campaign or expedition if you have 5G or more. So I am now General Bonaparte. And since that's turned up, I'm actually going to put this income marker on it. It just makes it a little bit easier to spot uh, sort of the uh, income effects, I find. Okay. So, again, this would be a great place to end the turn. Which we do. The turn actually ends. Or the card draw phase, I should say, actually ends. So that is actually really good. Okay. So now we are going to go and resolve this campaign. So first things first, as you, as you remember, we assign commanders. Now, we only have one admin to spend. Only one. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and assign our newest commander, Desai, to it. Probably should have assigned one who I'm a little better at pronouncing. Desai, maybe it is. Um, so he is now assigned. And again, he's the only commander I'm going to have, because after this, I can't assign any more commanders. Okay. So, looking now uh, to resolve, looking at DRMs. Artillery Talon, I have plus one DRM in all combat rounds after the first, so nope, I don't get to use that now. Desai, I get a plus one DRM, which I will use right now. I'll flip him over. Now, an interesting question is whether or not I want to use Bonaparte leads. Um, it could result in me getting 5G, but I could end up dead. And I've used Napoleon's luck. So I think the risk of using that is a little too high for me right now. So I'm going to take my chances with this roll right here. I got a 9, so that's great. That modifies to a 10, so I got a victory. So I got a plus 5G and plus 1P, and then I remove this card from play. So Napoleon is proving quite useful, or, or quite successful early in his career. Plus 5, so I'm at 13 glory okay so that is the campaign resolved uh and i don't think there was any other no there's no other effects i just removed it from play i probably was just a little bit earlier than i needed to so anyway uh now i do commander casualties so i'm rolling for my one commander and he is not wounded so we put him back there we would do campaign cleanup, but um, these two boxes are already empty, so I don't have to, uh, to worry about that. So with that, we are moving on from campaign resolution, skipping, so we are into the cleanup phase. So, admin and diplomacy reset to zero, but they're already at zero. And nothing else needs to be done so we are basically uh, done with that turn and we move on to the year setup phase for the next year so we advance to 1795 uh we reset the card draw marker it's haven't been lasting very long so far it's kind of been kind of a little bit surprising and uh we get two uh, to admin uh, for our newly minted uh, General Bonaparte. None of the other cards in play have an income effect. So we get two admin. So now we can add maybe another commander if we end up with a campaign this turn. Then we do go to the card deck phase. Now we don't have to do any th return and shuffle. So I'm going to I'm gonna shuffle this. But what I wanted to do before I do that is I want to talk about kind of what's next. And to do that, I got to kind of find a card from the deck. So let me do that real quick. So the next stage in Napoleon's career is to take part in the uh, coup that makes him uh, first consul, uh, which is represented by this card. Now, this card is not going to get added to the game until 1796, which is next year. But let's talk about what we're kind of aiming for here. So when it's revealed, you place it in I, Napoleon. So I'm going to have to wait until I draw it. So how long it takes for this to come up is a bit of a variable. But it, you can play it at the beginning of any campaign resolution phase when you have a combined value of at least 20 glory and or politics. Um, and when that happens, uh, you there's a whole bunch of modifiers you start looking for. You roll the die, and if the die is successful on a five or more, 
um, you basically uh, sort of advanced into FCD uh, during the next year. So what I'm looking to do from here is um, continue to build glory and political points so that I have at least 20 and can play this card and become first console, which is my next goal in the game. But as mentioned, that can't happen until 1796. So 1795, we're just going to go see what happens. So our first card, Spain allies with France. Uh, must place in current treaties and set Spain to allied. If Spain is already allied, remove this card from play and, and place a new card. So current treaties, place it there. And I move Spain to allied. So that's good. Uh, and the ongoing effect is Spain remains allied until Bayonne or Spain rises or revealed. Both of those are EMD cards. So Spain is basically my ally uh, until uh, the Emperor era. We advance the marker and draw a new card. Good. Topographical Bureau. That's excellent. I gain one political point and I flip Maneuver sur les derrière face up. And then I remove this card from play. So do it in kind of reverse order. We'll remove it from play. We'll gain a P, which is good. That's advancing me towards my goal. And we get to flip this card face up. Now, this is a great little strategy and tactics card that gives me a plus DRM in the first combat round of each campaign, with a few exceptions. Um, and it doesn't cost me anything to use. So it's kind of always gives me a plus one from, from here on out from the game, which is great. Advance the card draw marker and draw a new card. We've drawn another commander, Juno. So again, no reason not to play him, even though he's optional. And advance the card draw marker. The Treaty of, of Basel must place in current treaties and set Prussia to neutral. A lot of these cards are things that came in uh, with um, the uh, card 29. Or some of them did anyway. So anyway, we're going to set Prussia to neutral, and they're going to remain neutral until the beginning of EMD. So that is kind of good so we're going to set prussia to neutral and at beginning of emd i remove that card from play advance the card draw marker oh josephine so we've met josephine must place in life if no card is there there is no card there um, so we place it in wife and we gain one politics now this is very interesting if it's revealed before 1798, which it is, I roll the die. On a 1 through an 8, no effect. Um, on a 9 through a 10, she bears me a legitimate son. So this is not something I would probably spend Napoleon's luck on. But let's see what happens. A 1. So she doesn't bear me a son. So question, do you spend it on a Napoleon's luck on a 20% chance to have a legitimate son? I, you know what? We're going to go for it flip napoleon's luck oh i forgot to uh i forgot to flip it last time to it i forgot to flip it to unused uh prior to the year starting so my bad so i'm flipping it to use and i'm rolling again and i got a three so no love there from josephine but she gives me one p per year so i'm going to place this income effects marker on her and now we are going to be rolling to see if the turn ends or continues. On an 8, it continues. Draw a new card. Enemy guns. Oh, dear. Must place in campaign modifiers. That's going to be a problem if we get a campaign. What I'm kind of hoping for now, frankly, is for the turn to end without getting a campaign. So the turn does not end. Riding accident. Advance the card draw track and reveal the next card, then discard it unless it is an Austria, Britain, Prussia, or Russia card. Then remove this card from play. If writing accidents draws the final card draw during the card, okay. So it's not the final card, so. Okay, so we advance the card draw track and we reveal. I'm going to move this up. We reveal the next card. So discard it unless it's austria britain prussia or russia card so this is not an austria so the good news is is uh i would otherwise if i'd gotten this i'd have lost five glory which i didn't need so i now remove this card from play i've had my riding accident of napoleon 
and we are now here so we are uh on a dr one through four the turn ends come on end turn end that's a 10 so we're drawing another card capturing a geno must place in campaign modifiers again we're gonna place it there and we're gonna hope that we don't end up drawing a campaign so we have a 50 50 chance of the turn ending here and it it does end so that's a pretty good result for us because uh we didn't really want a campaign we're, we like where we are uh right now we're not quite where we need to be for brumaire uh, but we generally speaking like where we are so uh we now are doing campaign resolution and the only thing we're going to do during campaign resolution is just move those cards to discards because they uh, were not played or uh, needed uh, and then we skip diplomatic, we skip domestic politics, and we go to the cleanup phase. Now, this is where I forgot uh, last time, but I have to flip Napoleon's luck, and I'm going to reset admin to zero, uh, and I believe that that is all that I need to do. Yes. Uh, and so then we are going to move to the year setup phase for 1796, but we will do that in the next video. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough of I, Napoleon from GMT Games. If you're enjoying the video, it would be really great if you could leave a like. really helps the videos, helps the channel. Likewise, if you're uh, enjoying the channel or interested in what we're doing here, it would be great if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when we produce new content. Um, and definitely sharing the videos is another great way that you can help uh, the videos get found and help the channel. But with that, we will see you in the next video of this playthrough on Agility Snips Gaming Table.